All right, boys and girls, here's some more help on your 1416 quiz. This is another tough one, solving absolute value problems. Remember, if the absolute value of x is 3, well, that means x could be 3 or it could be negative 3. I hope that makes sense. So here, what you do is you say x minus 4 could be 6x plus 6. However, it could also, x minus 4 could also be negative 6x plus 6. And the strategy is to solve each of these and then make, check both of your answers. Sometimes things get weird. So subtract x from both sides, and that's gone. So you get a negative 4 is 5x plus 6, okay? Add 6 to both sides, and you get 2 is 5x divided side by 5, and then you get 2 fifths. So then you got to check your answer, and if you plug in your answer and check it, you'll find out that that does not satisfy. It doesn't work. So let's check the red one, okay? Apply this negative sign like it's a dis distributive property. So x minus 4 is negative 6x minus 6. And now again, let's add 6x to both sides. So you have 7x minus 4 is negative 6. Add 4 to both sides. 7x is negative 2. Divide each side by 7, and there you get your negative 2 sevenths. So again, the only reason this one doesn't work is that when you plug it in, it doesn't satisfy the initial equation, which is, happens sometimes with absolute values. Uh, I know this is kind of random, and just keep working through this quiz. That's why I'm posting these videos to help you. Boom!